Signs of beach erosion are becoming more and more visible, and some experts say this is just the start. Yeah, it could obviously be dangerous. State and county officials are now rushing to find ways to manage the issue that is impacting both public and private properties. Max Rodriguez tonight with more in the story. It's new at 9. A large ironwood tree toppling into Kailua Beach, an effect from sea level rise and beach erosion. We don't want to see our trees fall. But sometimes they happen after erosion for so many years. But uh, we just want to make sure that uh, no one gets hurt and it happens naturally. And just take a look at the size of this tree that fell into the ocean. This is a heavily used beach by people every single day in the city, asking folks to be careful in the area as other trees could also be at risk of falling. Signs and yellow tape placed around the area. The city says five other trees were also undermined by erosion. Basically, chop them down, but leave the root balls in place uh, because they still do hold some of the sand back. And so, we want the uh, the root balls to remain in place to, you know, not exacerbate any more of the beach erosion. It's not just Kailua Beach that's a concern. The Department of Land and Natural Resources recently saying there are no good options for homeowners on the North Shore. In Sunset Beach, some homeowners have been cited for using unauthorized materials to shore up their homes. Private property or homes are going to experience undermining and loss as the shoreline uh, moves to where they're located. But we need to allow that to happen in order for the beach to continue to uh, exist. Fletcher says building seawalls to protect homes could destroy the beach. The DLNR says retreating from the shore is an option no one has successfully implemented. We get back to the fact that this is a wicked problem. It has to be managed. It can't really be quote unquote solved. As for Kailua Beach, the city is considering dune restoration to manage rising sea impacts. But dune restoration is more of planting native uh, type of grass, vegetation, alpaca, things like that, so that it can hold the sand in place and not have it get eroded out as the tides get higher and higher. Max Rodriguez, KHON News, working for Hawaii.